Now I am a chairperson of a human rights NGO that calls Muatana, and Muatana means citizenship. We are a team of 71 people who are working all over Yemen to document violations, to publish, to do advocacy, and to do legal support for victims uh, of detention and forced disappearance. But this result didn't come uh, while I was uh, already know at the beginning that I would reach this point. What I knew at the beginning that I want to help, I want to make difference regarding uh, the victims in Yemen. So in 2004, there was a war in part of the Yemen, and I didn't know what to do. I was individual by then. I started to write against the war and against the, the detention and forced disappearance cases that are happening because of the war. Because of me writing, the families of detained people and forced disappearance people, they came to me and asked me to help them. So I got engaged with them in many activities in the ground. This is when I discovered the, the, the work in the ground and when I discovered civil society because we have worked with many uh, civil society NGOs. And uh, while working in, in this field, many researchers from international NGOs, they visited Yemen and they were coordinating with us. And with working with them, I discovered documentation. I discovered that the information is a power and to, 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 to document in a details the violations, it can help you to start in a very strong advocacy. And then later I discovered also the international humanitarian law. Maybe international humanitarian law is very known for you, but it was not known for me. And international humanitarian law it was very interested for me, uh, interesting, because whenever there is a war in our region, many of the discussion is going to be around who is uh, the victim, who started the war, who has the right to do this, and who doesn't have the right to do this. The answer for the, from the international humanitarian law is who cares? It doesn't matter. What matters that there are some civilians and all parties to the conflict should respect civilians. That opened a window for me uh, to work in, in this field and to handle human rights violations in a different way. So I started also to think that I have to organize this work. And I was very lucky to have a partner who I started with uh, he's Abdul Rashid al -Faqih. He used to be my colleague for many years and then my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Abdul Rashid, we founded Muadana in 2007 and then we never get the permission until 2013. And now, as I said, we have a very big team. When we started Muadana, we were two, but it's a man and a woman, so we were equal. So the NGO was divided between men and women. And now we are 72 and men and women are still equal. So half of the Muadana are uh, women. So the women in Muadana, they are in all the levels uh, of the NGO. They are managers, they are field researchers, they are also lawyers, and they are doing a very great work. I don't know if I, if I can say how do we participated uh, in the human rights or how human rights participated in empowering us as a woman as women in general. I'll keep uh, the other information for discussions, and thank you.